All right, welcome AP Physics students. Here to help you along with the workbook solutions, I would like to show you um, what the motion diagrams are, because it seems like we're going from positioning to velocity to acceleration and back and forth a lot. And so I just wanted to um, give you a better understanding of it by going over um, this demonstration, okay? All right, so what we have here is a motion diagram in three ways. You have your X here, which is, it can be your, it's a displacement, right? And here it's in the X direction. Likewise, this could also be Y. Time is your horizontal. This is the velocity graph and time, and this is your acceleration graph, all right? So let's see what these things are, right? Each one of these. So first of all, let's check at this time slot. Okay, so here, right, notice that this is all the same time. Okay, so notice that this curves, right? So increasing slope indicates increasing in velocity. So notice that this is curving. So therefore, this is straight because this is its velocity. Okay, so this is going to be constant. Okay, slope. The slope here is constant. The slope here is like an x squared. This is constant, right? The positive slope here indicates a positive acceleration because again, the slope is going up at a constant value. So here, uh, four to 12, something like three meters per second or four meters per second. So it would be right here at four meters per second squared. Okay, so this is no slope, so it's flat. All right, so notice how you're going from here to here to here, All right? So the next part, okay, um, here, do you see how here it curves, but now it's slowing back uh, here. This is curving. This is constant. It's not a curve. This is constant. The fact that this is constant, constant slope means constant velocity. So right here, constant slope. So this here is a, um, this means uh, zero slope, right? It's flat here because again, this is linear, okay? So this is zero. If this is zero, because there's no slope here, this value here is gonna be zero. Do you see that? Here it goes up around, let's say 15, meters per, um, this is like 15 meters per second, 15 meter, uh, 15, x meters right here it becomes zero because again it's flat and here the acceleration is zero okay so here notice how that the decreasing slope okay and again this is a curve but it curves down right its concavity is down that is why the velocity here the acceleration is constant but it's a constant negative, okay? It's a constant negative. Here, the constants was, from be here, the constant was positive. Here, the constant is negative because it's curving down. Curving up, positive linear slope. Curving down, negative constant slope. And notice how this is negative. So, on the bottom, hmm, here it's negative do you see how it's negative right this is an interesting point the horizontal point here implies this is when it goes positive all the way to negative do you see how it goes positive and it goes back down that's the slope this is what it happens positive to negative this is its change so this would be considered the max of the the max of the position the position. So again, this can be height or distance, which is going to be your where your velocity equals to zero. So this is where v equals to zero. Okay, please understand that. A lot of questions will ask you about this part. Likewise, that has no me measurement on acceleration. Here, you can't look at the acceleration and see where the velocity is zero. Okay. All right. 
So negative slope here indicates that it has a negative velocity. So that's why this is negative velocity, because it's going down. Okay, And here, it, remember, again, it's curving. right? So again, it can curve down this way or curve down this way. Either way, it's still going down. Okay. The negative slope here applies also a negative acceleration. So please understand that this whole thing, this curve, is represented by this downward velocity. So this curve up here in your distance is all determined by this velocity slope that's going down, which is this whole flat thing. Okay. The next part here, do you see how it slowly comes back? So the curve flattened implies the velocity becomes less negative. Because if so here it's like negative, 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 negative. Now it's gonna go starting to go to zero. So it the it's starting to like flatten out. So the slope is going it's approaching zero. Okay? Slope negative, slope negative, slope negative, approaching zero, approaching zero, slope is zero. Okay? That's what it means. The flattening of the curve implies velocities becoming less negative. And in that is this part, okay? Do you see how it becomes, uh, uh, it, it goes from here, then it goes, duh, 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 duh. so it becomes negative, 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 it goes down to zero. So right here, all right? Because this is flat, this is going to be zero, so this is also going to be zero, okay? Because again, this is constant, so this is constant, so this is constant. Okay, so what does that, so in short, here's a little legend for you, if you would like to see, all right, if it curves up, all right, the next, the next one, I would consider the slope of this, okay, is going to be something like this, uh, it should be straight, all right, so this is linear. And then if you do the slope again, it's going to be flat. Okay. And then if you go from here to here, you would take the area of this object will get you here. And the area here is going to get you there. And this applies for anything. Okay. So it goes from a curve. So X squared. So if you think about this in terms of like simple algebra, X squared x constant All right so here's some calc for you okay so d of dx of x squared gets you x right um 2x okay All right then you do go over again d over dx of 2x becomes what? 2. Okay? That's the that's the essentially what the idea is. It's it's happening, okay? So, that's what the motion diagram is. Make sure you're able to convert from here using the slopes and going backwards with which is the area. Okay? So, some area formulas that you have to remember is the area of, of a square the area of a rectangle and the area of a triangle but those formulas are all given rarely will you give the area of a circle but that's very straightforward it's just pi r squared okay but that's all you need to do all right so there you go that is motion diagram um, in a nutshell